Well, guys, I uh, found another spillway here. It is incredibly small. It is not flowing at all. And I feel like it's probably also pretty shallow. Uh, it's still really cold here in Nebraska. Uh, it's, I think, about 36 degrees right now. So I'm really, uh, really, I'm up for anything that bites. I don't care what the size is. Um, so we'll see if I can hook into something. I can see one tiny little fish hanging off that brush right there. So we'll see if I can hook into him. All I brought down here with me was my uh, ultralight and it's already got a bobber and a hook on it. So I'm just gonna throw a worm on there and float it down there and see if I can uh, get one of these guys to bite. I mean, I can see pretty much the whole bottom. I'm standing on the tube here, keeping my fingers crossed I don't fall off. But uh, I can't see the bottom in the middle, but you can see it pretty much all the way around. Um, so I don't know how deep it is or anything. Uh, it's not flowing, but I did walk down there. I scouted this before I got my stuff out of the truck and I did walk down the creek a little bit here. And even though it's not flowing here at all, there's still water spilling down there and it's a different color. So I almost feel like there might be a little natural spring down there or something, but I'll go down there and check that out once I fish this. Yeah, I can see a tiny couple little fish down in there probably just bluegills but uh it's kind of a bummer these trees are in there but i think that's what's going to be holding the fish i could probably pull that out if i felt so inclined and i might just do that but we'll see i'm gonna get a worm on this rod here get you guys strapped on the chesty try not to freeze my fingers are already getting really cold i need to get some fingerless gloves if you guys know any good fishing gloves that are warm that are fingerless let me know i'll probably find some within all the ice fishing stuff this year Although, I wonder if I have some in my trap. I don't know. Anyways, I'll get you guys strapped on the chesty and we'll get to fishing. Stay tuned. Okay, rod's rigged. Guess I'll show you. A worm. I put a full worm on. I believe these are like uh, rotating hooks. You can see it's got that funny bend in it. Tiny little split shot. Tiny little bobber. And we're going to see if we can catch a tiny little spillway fish. Uh, see what happens try not to get this snagged immediately like i said i can kind of see a couple of them hanging out by that tree right over here but uh let me get you guys angled a little bit better so you can see this whole thing i don't think there's going to be any over there i just thought maybe they'd be hanging down oh something's going for it already something's got it there we go first cast and ooh. For the size of the spillway here, that is a small fish, or a fairly large fish. Looks like either he's got the herp, as you can see right there, or something tried to eat him, something big down there. It's kind of like a line across right here. I wonder if something bit him. It's on the other side too. Looks like something may have bit this dude. Um, I don't really want to touch that thing on the side of his head, but we'll see if we can just drop him here in the water. Professional release. There's plenty of water right underneath me. All right. Well, we managed to hook a fish on our first cast. Uh, let's get this worm on here a little bit better so it doesn't just get stolen right away. Something's, something was eating on it. There we go, there we go. Is that a catfish or is that a little bass? I think that's a tiny little bass, it is. Well, there we go. Tiny little spillway bass guy. Open your mouth, bud. There we go. Just a little one. I've been catching little ones lately. But uh, I'm not too mad about it. He's a good looking fish, got some decent color on him. So we'll just launch him back down in here. And he's gone. Well, I still got my worm. Yeah, maybe setting that a little deeper helped. 
think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna walk over there. Try to fish the back side of this tree maybe. At least the wind will blow the bobber away from me and not towards me. Just grab some worms here. Some worms in my pocket. Ooh, something's got it. There we go. That's a little bit of a fighter. That's a bigger one. You know, I'm not, I can't complain about that guy at all. That's not a bad, bad uh, bass for a spillway like this. This tiny little puddle. That's not bad at all. Look and look at him. He's got a mark on him too. Both sides. Wonder, you guys see the mark right there? Let me get him off of this hook without tangling everything up like I always do. He came out and smashed it. I was kind of reeling it in to get it closer to that little bush over there. And he nailed it. But yeah, he's got a mark on him right there too. And it's a little bit on both sides. I wonder if there's a monster hanging down on the bottom there, but you would uh you wouldn't think so in a spot like this, but you never know. Well, not bad about that guy. Let's get him back over in there. Oh, bud, why you gotta be like that? Dang it. I'm coming. You're supposed to just let me toss you back in there. I, I guess I can't make a video without dropping a fish. And he's off. All right, we're gonna kind of walk down this bank here it's all really shallow I don't know how far down I can actually walk but over in here you can see it there's nothing in there uh, once you get down here a little bit farther oof, hard to walk on this angled bank this one so there's a little pool right here that I cannot see the bottom Look at that color of that water. It's like almost white. So I'm just gonna dangle this down in there. I don't know if this is gonna even hit the bottom, but. Ooh, something had it. Something's got it. Huh. Look at that. I managed to catch one and it looks like he's had something try to bite him too. Hope your angle's not the greatest. There we go. Yeah, look. See that white spot on the side there? He's got, it looks like a bite mark there. And on that side. Huh. There has been something big in here. Trying to eat these guys. I had no idea he was going to hit that, honestly. I didn't really expect anything to be in here, but... I can... There we go. Is that a crappie? <laughs> it's a crappie. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Super tiny little crappie. It's a day of tiny fish, but that's great. Tiny little crappie. That's pretty awesome. So what have we caught? Bluegill bass, green sunfish, now a crappie. I hooked that full head. Didn't get him in. Hopefully the camera picked it up pretty well. And I've seen that other catfish, but didn't want to hit. So that's awesome. I can't believe we've caught, uh, oh, and me again dropping everything I catch. I can't believe we've caught so many different species out of this tiny little puddle. Come here, bud, I'm gonna put you back in the water. Sorry for dropping you, but yeah, I really wonder what's up with the color of this water. But uh, who knows? Let's see if we can get another one. That would be really cool. You might've been the one that's been messing with it the entire time. 
Something's hitting it, something's hitting it. Take it, 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 take it. Take it. Maybe they just don't have enough power to actually take it all the way under. There we go. I wonder if that's the same one that just came back and was like, I want the dang worm. Might have, ooh. I dropped that one too. At least that one wasn't on my own accord. Come here, bud. Come here. And you're probably like, what is going on now? Got them all dirty. We're gonna just toss them back in there. Okay. That's funny. Can't be a bunch of crappie stacked up in here like that, but you never know. There we go. There we go. That one's a little bit bigger than the last couple, I think. Not too shabby. Dangle this in there till our worm's gone, anyways. I took that real quick. Let's see if something else. Something down there haunts it. I don't see anything. Oh, something's, something's eating it. I can see him. There we go. Is that a bass? There we go. That's a bass. Chill out, bud. Well, all right, guys, uh, you can see we're out here catching Mondos, uh, but I'm gonna call it a day on that fish. Uh, it has been pretty awesome to be, be able to come out here and catch them out of this tiny little puddle here. And uh, not only that, just a little itty bitty creek puddle that's down there. I mean, nothing's flowing. These guys don't have any way to get out of here. So I don't know, they're not gonna last long. And it is freezing, my hands are freezing. So I'm gonna call it a day and head home. Uh, did manage to catch some, so I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, what we catch, we caught uh, largies, bluegill, green sunfish, and crappie, all out of this tiny, tiny little creek. I mean, it is a spillway, but it ain't spilling, so this tiny little puddle, I guess, is what you could say we caught them out of. Uh, I really wish I would have hooked up with one of those kitties. I did hook up with that one bullhead. Hopefully the footage looks good, but uh, he came off when he jumped out of the water. And then the other little catfish that's in here, he doesn't want anything to do with the, the worms I'm throwing out here. So it's cold and I'm ready to go home. Uh, hopefully uh, ice season comes sooner rather than later. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I upload every three days, fishing, camping, general outdoor stuff. Uh, I've got some trips planned, so there's some good stuff coming up. We won't just spend our entire time uh, catching tiny fish. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next adventure. We'll see you in a bit.